Yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to take a look at how to fix any Ethernet problem on Windows 10. So let's get right into it. So as you all hear, today we are going to fix any Ethernet problem on Windows 10. So let's get right into the first method. Okay, so for the first method, you want to make sure that your IP configuration is set to automatically. You can do that by right clicking on this little internet icon and click open network and internet settings. Once you've done that, you want to click on ethernet and click on change adapter options. Then you want to right click on your primary adapter, the one that you are using right now. So right click on it, click properties and double click on internet protocol version 4. Now you want to make sure that this is on obtain an IP address automatically and this one is on obtain DNS server, uh, DNS address automatically. So if it was on use the following IP address, just click on this one and if it was on this one, just click on this one. So let's get right into the next method. For the next method, you want to go ahead and open up CMD and run it as an administrator. You can do that by searching for CMD in the search bar and click on run as administrator. Then you want to type in the exact same thing as me. Once you've typed this, you want to click enter and wait until it says successfully reset the Windsor catalog. Now I will say you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Now you can do this after this step, so just do this, type in the exact same as me once again. Once you've typed it, you want to click enter once again. And once it says resetting OK, restart your PC and come back. Okay, so for this method, you want to check your services. You can do that by clicking run in the search bar and then typing services. Okay, once you're on this window, you want to scroll down and search for DHCP. Once you found it, you want to go ahead and double click on it and make sure this says automatic. And make sure it says running. If it, if it says stop, you want to right click on it and click start. And if it says running, you want to click on restart. So let's get right into the next method. Okay, so in this method, you want to go ahead and flush your DNS. You can do that by typing CMD in the Windows search bar and type in ipconfig slash flush DNS and click enter. Then you want to type in ipconfig space slash release and click enter then for the last one you want to type in ipconfig space slash renew once you've done that you're done with this method and let's get right into the last method okay so this method is basically for those who tried everything but still have no result so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up device manager search device manager in the search bar and open it up then you want to go over onto network adapters and right click on your network adapter and click uninstall device what you want to do then is you want to search for what motherboard you have and then you want once you have your uh, motherboard model you want to search on google for that model and then search for ethernet drivers and install them and reboot your PC and you'll be good to go. Okay, so that was it for today's video. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and consider subscribing. See you next. Peace out.